Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're going to have, as you can tell by the title, there's new grips, Max Fredrickson's uh, slingers, first time I'm using them, so I'll give you my full unbiased opinion about them at the end of the video. Uh, and as you can also tell by the title, there's new learns, I learned how to abubica, you'll see all of the attempts of that, and the fails, the crashes, and there's stair sets going up and down them. So uh, yeah, it's a pretty good video, hope you guys enjoy, and uh, let's get straight into it. The old grips are a bit worse for wear, especially the bar ends, that's mostly whilst I'm changing them. Because as you can see, this one is literally non-existent, and this one is starting to come off as well. So, I'm going to change them out, I'm go still going to keep the ODIs as like a backup, because they're not too bad overall, it's just a little light bits of scrape there and a little tear in the grip there but overall that's fine but I'm just gonna change them out just because they're fresh and they'll match the bar ends a lot better so yeah enough waffling let's get straight into it now so there are several ways to put grips on uh, quick and easy you can use brake cleaner just put spray sun straight down the middle and then just put it straight on and it will go on or you can use the same with the air compressor again and that will go on nice and easy but if you don't have any of those the best way to put it on is this technique which I'm about to show you alright so this is the best technique so just first of all just screw it on as far as you can and then I'm going to put the GoPro in my mouth so I won't be able to speak again but what you're going to do is you're going to twist it on and as you're twisting with your one hand, you're going to kind of whack it on like that. And that is the way I've found the best way to actually put it on the best and the quickest way. So I'll show you now how to do it. And that's it. Quick as simple as that. Or if you're a YouTuber, this is definitely the quickest way to put your grips on or anything to do with a bike. All you do is you have your product. This is the grip in my case. You have your bike and all you do is just throw it at the bike and it's magically on. Watch this. Boom, there we go. Both grips are on now and they feel great just by first impressions without even riding yet I might move the brake over a bit because there's a bit of a gap uh, also I might cut off these flanges as well because I don't know they feel weird I'm used to no flanges so I might ride them for a little bit see if I get on with the flanges or not if I don't then I probably will cut them off uh, eventually but I'll give it a go for a while they might help with tricks or getting my hand back on place so yeah next clip now will be straight into riding so i'm gonna try 360 i'm gonna try them again but last time i was here i kept on hitting the wall so i'm gonna try 180 first see where i end up and hopefully i'll get the next one or this one I don't know. we'll see how it goes
ってみてそうThen if you want to get fit, do bunny hops, especially upstairs. It's only a workout. Right, so that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, my opinions about grips, amazing. I do really, really like these grips. The way it's patterned, it just feels nice in the hand, and you've always got plenty of grip, and it's soft as well. However, on the bar ends, I am slightly disappointed because just one crash, it was a bit of a heavy on the one side, I will admit that, like it hit the bars quite hard, but the end cap, that bar end cap just popped off first crash. So I'm a bit disappointed with that, I think it's kind of plasticky, it could just be a like an odd batch that's just gone wrong with something, I don't know. The other, the other side of the bar end is perfectly fine, so yeah. But other than that, they're absolutely amazing, would highly recommend them. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like on the video, subscribe for more, leave me a comment below. And until next time, I'll see you then.